Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Orange Plus 20 here, and today I am very happy to be bringing you another superhero Yu Gi Oh video. You guys seem to love superhero uh, origins, and you guys just seem to love superheroes in general, so I thought I'd give it to you guys. You guys really seem to enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Um, so, yeah, let's just keep on going with the superheroes. Um, and if you guys like it so much, who knows, maybe there could be a future roleplay where they're superheroes. I mean, I don't really know. Um, <laughs> but basically, uh, I thought you guys really like Superior Origins. I really like Superior Origins. You guys like Yu-Gi-Oh! I like Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's mash them together, and boom. I, me and Richie did do a Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, superhero video, and, uh... You guys seem to really like that deck, and there's also a, uh, in my last GX episode, there was a superheroes deck. Now, disclaimer, that is not going to be my new deck, alright? Uh, that was, like, maybe a one-time thing, I don't know. I'm not going to use that, you know, a lot. I'm, pr I'm probably not going to use that, like, ever again. I'll probably just have it, but I'm not going to use it. Like, <laughs> I'll just have it, like, uh, as, as, a, as a backup. I'm not even sure if this deck is even RP level. I'm not even sure if it's comp level. Um, but yeah, so you guys really seem to enjoy it. I mean, I really seem to enjoy this deck. Um, off, off camera, I dueled a lot of people. And I feel like I'm actually really good with this. Uh, I know all the cards, or most of the cards, there still has not. There still has been some cards in here that I have no clue what they do. But anyways, I thought I'd give it uh, you guys what you want. And that is a um, deck profile of this deck. Now, before I go uh, further into this, I'd just like to say that Superhero Origins, I have a new schedule, and that's pretty much going to be, you guys really seem to like Superhero Origins. I really like doing it. So we're going to have Superhero Origins almost daily. See, I would do it daily, but I just realized, like, we have to keep it roleplay. Like, it's a roleplay, guys. It's not like Fairy Tale Origins where you could just keep on going and going and going and going until you're like you know maxed out it's a role play so there is limits um like off camera i'm i've talked to some of the other guys and they're even saying like whoa dude you gotta like slow it down like <laughs> but the thing is that i just love modded series like you guys can tell in fairy tale origins i was pretty strong like i killed xylo's dragon for crying out loud but i i just can't like you can't stop it like i don't know i just love superhero origins so much and i also love the super suits the super suits are awesome for those of you who don't know um well actually i'm not gonna tell you because you guys are gonna have to watch it lol uh but anyways let's get into the superhero deck profile now it's elemental heroes um mostly i don't i think it's all elemental heroes to be honest and to be honest i've never used an elemental hero deck until this deck um so yeah let's get into it so we got and by the way i'm gonna butcher these names so but i i am terrible with names as you guys know um but yeah let's go elemental hero neos i feel like you know he's a pretty common card uh elemental hero sparkman yeah he's pretty cool he's kind of like the flash he's kind of like i don't know like superman you know what i'm gonna see if i can find like the superhero counterparts uh, let's go. Elemental Hero Sparksman. He's like the Kid Flash. Um, Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
the Avengers and the Justice League. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Goros, the Emissary of Darkness. I feel like that's Batman. Maybe. I don't know. Is there... Okay, no, this guy's Batman. Crusader. Uh, yeah. He just looks like Batman. I don't know. Uh, Thunder King Ra. Ooh, who would this guy be? Thor? Or Shazam? Maybe Thor? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Now, we do have this guy. Elemental Hero Neos uh, Alias. I f mm. Who would this guy be? I feel like he'd be that one guy in Incredibles. Oh, what's his name? Where is my super suit? It's that guy. Oh, what's his name? Oh, anyways, I totally forget, but you guys know who I'm talking about. All right, just by that reference, you guys know. Um, Elemental Hero Stratos. Who would this guy be? Hmm. Captain America. I'm feeling a Captain America vibe from him. Uh, Elemental Hero Prism. Feeling an Iron Man vibe. Uh, Elemental Hero Ocean. Okay, really? Okay, this guy is definitely Aquaman. Elemental Hero Woodsman. This guy's definitely Groot. Uh, let's see. King of the Swamp. I feel like this guy's Swamp Thing. Yeah, Swamp Thing. Uh, he's not really a too known superhero, but, you know. Snowman Eater. Who on earth would this guy be? I mean... I would say Mr. Freeze, just because, you know, he's snow. I'm going to say Beast Boy, honestly. Because Beast Boy is really trolly. And this card is really trolly when this card is flipped. Uh, face up the target one face up monster on the field destroy that target that's pretty trolly and plus beast boy he can shape shift into any animal but you know I guess a snowman's not an animal oh yeah I should probably read the effects what is this effect this card can be used as substitute for any I'm not gonna lie I don't think too many of them have effects once per turn you can target one face up on the field that you can place a spell counter on place one spell counter on it and if you do this card gain 600 attack until the end of this turn that's pretty cool and i feel like that's what batman would do because i feel like he'd use his gadget to make himself stronger i don't know um what's this guy's effect you can destroy spell trap cards on the field up to the number okay yeah this makes sense uh add one here monster from your deck to the hand all right now we got E emergency call add one elemental hero we got two of those polymerization another polymerization a giant true nand i forget how to pronounce that return all spell and trap cards on the field to the hand pretty uh useful called uh useful card uh miracle fusions got two of those dark hole just you know just it, it's a dark hole that's like a kamehameha blast you know um gold sarcophagus there we go uh, banish one card from the deck face up during your second standby after this phase uh this card's activation add that card to your hand monster reborn most of you guys know that target one monster in your graveyard special summon it uh, pot of duality most of you guys know that um for those of you who don't uh you gain three cards from your deck add one of them to the hand also uh shuffle the rest back into the deck Book of Moon. Target one face-up monster on the field. Change that target to face down with uh, defensive position. Gemini Spark. Target one face-up level four Gemini. Then target one card on the field. Destroy it. And if you do, draw one card. I, that's pretty useful, I think. Um, super Polarization. Discard one card. Fusion summon one mo uh, fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from either side of the field as fusion materials. This is super good, I think. Because if you have, like, a blue-eyes white, like, dragon or whatever, like, let's just say your opponent has a blue-eyes white dragon, and you have, like, a time wizard, and if you activate this, you can discard a fusion summon monster, and then you could use the blue-eyes white dragon as fusion summon material. I feel like that's, you know, that's a, that's a pretty good future fusion. Uh, I don't really know what this card does, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and it's in a lot of decks. During your first standby phase, after this card's activation, show one fusion monster in your extra deck and send the fusion materials listed uh, on it from your main deck to the graveyard. During your second st uh, standby phase, after this card's activation, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck with the same name as the monster you showed and target it with this card. When this card leaves the field, destroy that target. When the card is, when the target is destroyed, destroy this card. 
Okay. Um, bottomless trap hole. Hero blast. Target one elemental hero. Uh, normal monster in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand, and then if you do, your opponent controls any monster with attack less than or equal to that target's attack. Destroy one of them. Uh, tribute when monsters summon destroy all monsters on the field. Okay. Solemn warning. Basically negate anything your opponent does. Now we go into extra decks. Now, with extra decks, I don't really read the effects. Just mainly because there's so many effects for some of them. And it's just a lot of reading in general. So I'm just gonna like... Like, I'm gonna show the card. And then, you know, you guys, I guess, can just read it yourself. Um, yeah. So... What is this guy? Ally of the Justice uh, Caster. I don't think I've actually ever used that guy. I'm not gonna lie. Uh... Brainiac. Okay, hold on. I know it doesn't say Brainiac, but that's like the first thing that showed up. So this guy's gonna be Brainiac. Oh yeah. Who? Who is this dude? He looks. He does not look like anything. I'm just gonna name him Cyborg. There we go. Who's this Black Rose Dragon? Hmm. Who would Black Rose Dragon be? I wonder. I honestly don't know. Um, maybe Wonder Woman? I don't know. <laughs> Stardust Dragon. Ooh. Who would Stardust Dragon be? Captain Marvel, because she's got stars, I think. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman. Maybe this guy's Beast Boy. You know what? This is the older Beast Boy. This is the younger Beast Boy, all right? Elemental Hero. Okay, this is Cyborg, straight up. The dude's a robot. Okay, this is Cyborg's dog. There we go. Fortress Dragon and Elemental Hero Gaia. There we go. Those guys are related. Absolute Zero. Who would this be? Oh, I feel like he'd be Iceman from the X-Men. I think that's his name. Yeah, he'd be Iceman. Uh, Shining Flare Wingman. Who would this dude be? Who's someone that has wings? Oh, Hawk, Hawk, Hawk Girl. There we go. And no, I did not say Hot Girl. I'm saying Hawk. You know, as in the bird. Literally, at school, I'd, I'd say that, and everyone would think I'm saying hot girl. But no, I'm saying hot girl. There we go. I don't know, it's just my English. <laughs> Dragon Knight Draco. Mmm, who would this dude be? He's got a lot of attack. So who's someone that's got a lot of attack? Uh, and he's also blue. Someone who's uh, got a lot of attack and is blue. Ooh, I don't think we actually have any villains into this. He's going to be Zoom, which is a Flash villain. Well, I guess this is a superhero deck, and Zoom's not really a hero. Oh, Blue, Blue Beetle. There we go. I'm not sure if you guys know him, but he's in um, he's in Young Justice, which is a excellent show. You guys, could, you guys should absolutely watch that if you guys have not seen it. And then we already talked about Rainbow Neos. Anyways that's it for this uh deck profile hopefully you guys enjoyed make sure you guys leave a like comment subscribe superhero origins episode coming up tomorrow so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and peace